So you just got your brand new OLED monitor, or you're thinking of buying one, but ooh, what's that hot number that just walked by? Goodbye, OLED. This is looking spicy, FOLED. Can I get your number, girl? <laughs> anyway, yes, everybody and their mother is freaking out about FOLED technology, but what is FOLED? Is it fake OLED? What? Who came up with this and where can I buy this new fancy FOLED technology? Well, let's answer those questions. So first starting off with what is FOLED? Well, currently in OLEDs, the blue light is a fluorescent blue light. And unfortunately, this appears to be a weak point of OLED technology and could be part of the reason as to why OLEDs do actually eventually burn in if safety precautions aren't taken. So in theory, the shift to FOLED would move us from fluorescent blue to phosphorescent blue. And according to a Digital Trends article, which is a great article on FOLED, by the way, I'll have linked in the description below. Well, apparently the current fluorescent blue light actually wastes around 75% of the electric current that's supplied as heat. Ooh, that's a lot of waste. So what can we do about it? Well, apparently the new FOLED technology that's using phosphorescent blue would actually have 0% roughly wasted heat and 100% of that electric current could be turned into, well, light that you see with your eyeballs. So as you can imagine, this is a huge deal for OLED technology as some of the biggest gripes around OLED is, well, they get too hot, they potentially can burn in and they just simply don't get bright enough and if this phosphorescent blue actually allows us to get that final piece of the puzzle and massively boost the brightness well we're talking about OLEDs that potentially could be reaching upwards of four, five, six hundred nits in a full screen window at roughly the same amount of energy consumed. They would be potentially less hot if you decided not to go as bright, and you could also be potentially avoiding burn in. So, yeah, everybody's absolutely freaking out about FOLED technology. And as it turns out, this new phosphorescent blue was recently discovered and is actually being looked at to be potentially used for 2025 or 2026 at the latest in display technology. In fact, I've heard some rumors personally that it does sound like there may be some OLED displays in 2025. And let's just say in theory that the 2025 monitors launch with FOLED technology. Could this bring us from 280 nits full screen to 600 and all the way from say, you know, 450 nits on quantum.oled for a 10% window all the way up to 1000 or 1500 or 2000 nits? Could it be possible? Well, yes, it could. However, there's an issue with FOLED technology as of right now, according to OLED-Info. According to UBI, the expected lifespan of UDC's first-gen blue FOLED will be around 40% lower compared to the currently used fluorescent blue emitters. So that's a huge problem because already technology such as Quantum.OLED is using triple stack blue OLED layers, I guess, in order to avoid burn-in and increase the lifespan. Well, a huge reason as to why we would move to FOLED is not only to have brighter displays with lower chance of burn-in, but potentially to actually reduce costs as the idea was if we move to FOLED, well, we don't have to actually have triple stack anymore. We can move down to one. But if this info turns out to be true from OLED-Info, guys, uh-oh. Looks like we could be talking about triple stack actually being here to stay or even more stacks, just four, five, six stacks, who knows? And the price of such a display would certainly be enormous. So while we could see FOLED in 2025, and it is a possibility, if it does come out in 2025, I do expect that it will be quite expensive. In fact, probably more expensive than the already expensive OLEDs that we have on the market today, which let's be honest, fellas, they need to drop in price. So 
Is FOLED technology interesting and exciting? Yes, it is. But will it be the magic bullet to save OLED technology? Well, that's something we just simply can't answer at this point in time. But there's not just FOLED competing for your money. In fact, we have a ton of new technologies such as QDEL and advancements in mini LED, micro LED on the horizon as well that all promise to have massive improvements to image quality, brightness, and a ton of other areas as well that are coming in not too long. So this is quite possibly the golden age arc of OLED and other display technologies, and I cannot wait to cover more of them with you guys going forward over the coming years. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin flexible and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.